about the myth of bandsaw drift. There's a lot been written about bandsaw drift and what we mean by that or what is meant by that is when the, the blade and the fence are the line so that when you push a piece of work through against the fence it's not tracking parallel to the fence. Now there's an awful lot being written about how to adjust the fence to fit the blade but in fact it's a much better way of doing things to adjust the blade to sit the, suit the fence. There's a very very easy way of doing it and it just relies on this adjustment here at the back of the bandsaw and that will change the bandsaw blade on the cambered top roller. So the wheels of bandsaws aren't flat across here they've got a camber on them and the bandsaw blade should be sitting in the middle of that camber. If it's not it's going to track a little bit to the left or to the right. So what we need to do to get the bandsaw blade tracking accurately with the fence is to adjust the position of the blade on the cambered wheel. And the way that we adjust the position of the blade on the wheel is by using this uh, control here. So all of the new bandsaw uh, will have that. It's an adjustment which tilts the top wheel ever so slightly and that makes the blade, uh, centers the blade on the top wheel. So the first step in the procedure is to align the fence with the mitre slot. You do that just by moving the fence up to the slot and what we're looking for is uh, just a sliver of light along the edge here, the reflection of the steel and it needs to be the same amount all the way along. By aligning the fence with the mitre slot it means that we can also use, uh, we can do 90 degree cross cuts if we want to do that. Okay now step two is to loosen the guides on this particular model it's all done by finger work, there's no spanners required. On some models you need to get a spanner. So we need to do the upper guides and also the lower guides below the table. And what we want to do is to move the guides away from the blade so that they're not going to be deflecting the blade either left or right. So if the cut isn't parallel to that pencil line, what we need to do now is make an adjustment to the position of the blade on the top wheel. And we do that just by turning this knob either in or out, there's a little lock nut on this particular model, and we can either move it in or out depending on which way the cut is going. And we just uh, make a, an adjustment and then we uh, scribe another line on, the, on a jointed edge and make another test cut and keep going until we have that in perfect alignment. So it's just a trial and error process at this stage. And that's all there is to it. It takes a little uh, bit of time just to, if you're not tracking properly, just the trial and error process, but a couple of minutes and you're all done. Now in my experience, once you've done that with a freshly installed blade, you don't need to do it again. Uh, some people think that uh, in the wearing process as the blade becomes duller it will shift alignment slightly and so if you're doing an important cut it's always good to check beforehand. And of course next time you change the blade, put a different blade in, you'll have to go through that process again. But it's much much simpler than trying to do something fancy with the fence.